Mongolia, the land of blue skies and of its father Genghis Khan, stunningly beautiful and mostly untouched nomadic lands. Mongolia, a melting pot for the senses, taste the freedom, hear the vastness, smell the cold, see the tranquility, and feel the blue sky. But the pulsating metropole Ulaanbaatar also belongs to Mongolia and is the very center of this modern country, cosmopolitan, dynamic, but with an awareness of its traditions. Skyscrapers, luxury hotels, banks with global reach, an international university with a surprising number of young female faces, the highest standards of modern hospitals, and internationally connected media centers. With its doors wide open to the world and in the world, the Genghis Khan International Airport in Ulaanbaatar. A nomadic family moving to new pastures. Approximately half of all Mongolians still live with their herds and in their traditional nomadic tents, the Gurs. House music in a Gur. A New Year's festival. It's not only when celebrating with guests that Mongolians behave formally, but also amongst one another and between generations, they treat each other with love and respect. Whoever has grown up in a Gur will always miss it. Horses live all year round in the open. In order to break them, they must first be caught. A tough start to a long friendship. In the Altai Mountains, the Kazakhs hunt on horseback using eagles, a proud nomadic tradition. In winter, Mongolian lakes freeze up to a depth of two meters, providing a welcome, faster and more comfortable means of traveling to that of the sandy summer tracks. Open cast coal mining, Mongolia is one of the richest countries in the world for raw materials and much more remains undiscovered. International companies are investing in the extraction and smelting of copper. In the country's own production plants, coking coal mined from the Gobi Desert is used to produce steel. Wool from the Mongolian Kashmir goat is exported and used for both fashionable and traditional clothing, boosting the textile industry. Between the steppe and the desert, the tortoise was the emblem of the capital of the Mongolian Empire, the ruins of which bear witness to the amazing architectural achievements of the time and are continued in Buddhist temples and monasteries. The richest jewel of all Mongolian historical art is the Amabaya's Galant Monastery. Here, children and prospective monks are instructed in Tibetan Buddhism. Much older is the ancient indigenous nomadic religion worshipping the heavens and a life in balance with nature. The shamans protected the people by evoking the help of their forefathers. During the Nadam festival, the nation celebrates its independence and the nation's father, Genghis Khan. The nomadic culture and its three traditional sport disciplines for men. Wrestling, which is still only for men, archery, where women have long since become involved, and a 27-kilometer horse race through the steppe. During the Nadam festival, Ulaanbaatar is booked out both day and night. Every hotel, every event, and every seat in the opera house and in all the restaurants are taken. The Gobi Desert in southern Mongolia, with its age-old landscape, is a boundless adventure area for active travelers. Whether riding a camel, a horse, a mountain bike, a motorbike,
whether fishing, rowing, playing golf or motocrossing. The Gobi is unique for people who appreciate sublime views and who with luck might also see rare desert animals. Or they might make a pilgrimage to the famous ancient rock paintings depicting a 3,000 year old hunting story and yet another sensation, dinosaur fossils in the desert. Deep earthy undertones with light sounds of the heavens above and the constant forward driving rhythms of nature. Mongolia, a land like its music.